A man wearing a face mask sits down beside a woman seated in front of her eye gaze device. Text. Millions of people worldwide are living with speech and motor impairments. Richard Cave interviews. The focus of my work has been people who have significant communication difficulties. So often the folks that have no speech or are losing their speech. Sarah is an incredibly successful artist. A slideshow features photos of Sarah smiling at galleries, posing with her daughter, and presenting in lecture halls. Sarah is a mother, incredibly bright, lots of opinions, lots of life history. That's who Sarah is. It just so happens that Sarah uses eye gaze to communicate and doesn't have natural voice. That's where technology comes in, measuring the movement of a person's eyes to know where they're looking. Then they can spell words or they can select phrases and they can communicate in that way. Sarah composes a message. Hello, Richard. Text. In 2020, a small team from Google started working with Richard to explore how they could help. Richard video conferences with three colleagues. Zebedee Peterson. We're really interested in creating simple interfaces for smaller devices like smartphones that don't rely on external pieces of hardware. And it's machine learning that makes all of that possible. Software maps out Zebedee's face, superimposing digital dots over his features. The Look to Speak interface lists different phrases a user can select by looking left, right, or up. The Look to Speak is an experimental Android app which uses eye gaze to select phrases on screen and have them spoken out loud. Richard Cave. The idea of being able to use Look to Speak to communicate for people, you know, across the world in different economic and social situations is really important because actually it's based on something that is ubiquitous. He holds up his smartphone. Richard gets up from his computer. Later, he drives down a city street. You cannot create something as important as this in a vacuum. It's critically important to go and ask and work with the people that could benefit from a tool like this. Sarah sits in front of her eye gaze device as Richard pulls up a video call on his laptop. Hello, Hello. Stina. Hello. Hi. Thanks for, for having us today. He fits his phone into an adjustable arm and positions it a few feet away from Sarah's face. I might move a little bit closer. We're trying to see if it's registering your, your eye gaze. The Look to Speak app reads, Setup Helper, Head Position. For best performance, your head should be positioned roughly in the cutout. Last gaze direction, right. Angle of the device, not ideal. Angle the device away from you. For the best performance, the device should be facing you with a shallow angle. Sarah composes a message on her eye gaze device. Can I have a few minutes to try it? She selects a phrase from the Look to Speak app. My name is Sarah. If you think of any way we could improve it, feel free to give us any pointers. I will. We're not replacing all this kind of heavy duty communication aid stuff because there's a lot of functionality in there. Look to Speak is for those important short messages where the other communication device can't go. What is going on? Katie Seaver wears a microphone headset on a video call with Richard. We all run a risk of having some form of a disability at some point in our lives. So something could happen to us an accident, or we could have a scheduled um, surgery that would make us temporarily in need of some technology tools. I think there's a lot of access that can be really useful for a lot of people. The barriers are coming down. We are getting close to something that actually can be put in front of people. People's lives properly can change. Stina Johnson watches on a video call as Richard helps another user get set up. The Look to Speak app reads, Setup Helper, Head Position. For best performance, your head should be positioned roughly in the cutout. Last gaze direction, right. Angle of the device, device angle is ideal. For the best performance, the device should be facing you with a shallow angle. Let's try it out and see how it goes. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do it. Text. Thanks to Richard and everyone for helping create Look to Speak. To try the app or help someone get set up, visit g.co slash look to speak. A logo appears. Google.